whatever reputation I had built up as a as a grade one kid went out the window when that happened. Oh, he can't see me. He can't see me because I was in the um in the smoke. That's cool. Because I remember in the last cauldron, it had said that the smoke can keep you invisible, but I hadn't actually tried it out yet. And then it happened there for the first time, and that was that was pretty cool. That circular device. What does it do? Let's find out. It's wearing something. I don't want to jump down there, friend. Can I break it? Investigate the tunnel. Turbine. A rotating transformer of unknown design. Moderate impact may reverse polarity. Could support human weight. Things are coming my way. Okay, so we've rotated the direction that it goes into. Weird. Okay, let's rotate it. And what does that do? What does that do? I mean, I can rotate the direction, sure, but... What am I doing? Can you hit that? Or do you just climb back up this way? How the fuck do I get out of here? Okay. Oh! You can hold on to that. So I could jump onto this circle. Okay, fuck off. Fall down. Like that. Wowee. And that's how we get across to the other side. Hey, what the fuck happened there? Okay. Cool. So I have to climb here. So then climb the wheel. To get to the other side of the fucking bridge. Like that. Look at that. That's pretty nifty. If you could live anywhere in the world or the universe, where would it be? Does it have to be a real life place? Like when you say anywhere in the world or the universe, cause can it be a fictional place? That rushing sound again. Cause if it's a fictional place, I would either love to live in like a Star Wars universe. That would be fucking sick. Um, I would probably live in the Star Wars universe. Otherwise, I would probably um, choose the Shire in Lord of the Rings. Live as like one of the Hobbitons, but like live in like like this little one, cozy, cozy homes in the um, in the ground. Well, not in the ground, in the side of mountains and hills. Because the Shire is a pretty cozy place. You look at it, and I would love to live there. No room. Um, only if there's no villains, though. Of course, you know I don't want to live in the Lord of the Rings universe. In terms of, you know, the orcs and Sauron and Saruman and all that stuff. But if we're talking strictly just a place that, um, you know, just a place like the Shire that's peaceful, that never has any danger, and everyone just kind of gets along, I'd love to live there. So what are we doing? We're just going to continue down this tunnel? What are we doing? Alright, we can't open that like that. What are we doing? What's this? What's that? What are we doing? Seriously, what are we doing? What I fucking wanna do? What are we doing? 
There's a watcher through the door, but I'm trying to open this door. Oh, override. Why didn't that appear before? I hadn't appeared. Didn't know we could override the door. So wait for the option to come up. Alrighty, what do we got? Need what do we got? Need to find a way through this shell. Okay. There we go. Ah, oh, jeez, 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 come on. Booyah! Oh, oh, gotta get out of there, she just rolled into the fucking wall. Booyah, come on. Fuck off. Got to get out of that fucking circle. The blue circle. Let's use some medicine. Yikes. Oh my god, get out of the fucking way. Yikes. That component. Cool. Alright. Cool. What was the question? What's your biggest fear? My biggest fear would... Oh, that's a tough one. I don't really have many fears. I mean... My biggest fear is probably flying, really. Or well, not flying. Fights. Being up in the air, anyway. I hate the idea of not having my feet on the ground and just being I guess high above everything else so I don't know if that's my biggest fear but it's definitely one of my big fears yeah is heights all right so where are we going now See, I saw one of these wheel things before. We, we were able to change its direction. Now, I gather at this time we don't want to change directions. But, there's another wheelie thing over there, so... Who the fuck knows? See what happens, we'll see where it goes. Oh, we're we supposed to jump onto those things? Yeah, okay. See, because I'm not going to make it. Okay. So on the next pass, we'll go up, and I think I've got to jump from there onto those um, carriage things. The, oh, I okay, I'm on the floor. Oh! Wait, what's happening? Oh, am I getting knocked off from that? Fucking hell. I'm about to climb up here. Okay. Alright. There we go. And now we just drop? Yeah, we want to drop. Only because I saw this. Yeah, supply crate. Should have brought a cart. Yeah, I know, I'm running out of uh, fucking resources here. Well, if we build these. Is it okay to put pineapple on a pizza? Uh, yes, it is okay, in my opinion, to put pineapple on a pizza. All right, I wouldn't say I love pineapple on a pizza, but I don't really understand the whole angst against it either. 
people put a lot more crazy shit in their foods than pineapple on a pizza. So, if I could outlaw crazy food creations, um, there's a million other things I'd probably choose before I'd go to pineapple on pizza. I don't personally love pineapple on a pizza, but I'm not going to begrudge anybody who decides to put pineapple on a pizza. So... What does this do? We can now cross over here. And then we're going to ride another one of those wheelie things. And I'm, I'm gathering we're going to ride it. Oh yeah, so this is easy because we just have to change the direction. Don't we? No, not quite. Oh, whatever. Let's just climb this shit. Climb it. Come on, Ally. Climb it. It's cool that you can... I didn't realise you could actually hopscotch across this thing, but there you go. So... Or not hopscotch, hop hands. And now we'll override this. See what this gives us. Probably another bridge somewhere. That should get me through. Oh, get you through there. That's what we're doing. Well, before we go through there, let's just suss out the back here and see what's there. I'm a very exploring type of person. I want to like see what we got. Oh, does this hurt you? No, nah, doesn't really hurt you, does it? Oh, treasure. Resist weave mod. 20% resist fire weave mod, there we go. Climb up there. Maybe I have to go jump on that. Maybe that's where I have to go. No, hold on to it, Alloy. Come on. Can you seriously not jump up that? Oh, do I have to go back up there? That's stupid. Just jump up. See, why can she grab onto the yellowy ledge bits, but she can't? She can't grab onto that when. Realistically, she was there and she could just grab onto it. Absolutely bizarre game. Oh my fucking god. Did she seriously fall off the fucking ledge? I oh, won't get off the fucking lift. Oh, favorite sport Aussie rules football. I don't know if you're in Australia, but Aussie Rules Football is my favourite sport. Get on, oh my fucking god, Alloy, get up! Oh, get up! She's a. What's your favourite sport? Because mine's Aussie Rules Football. I don't know if you live in Australia or if you know about Aussie Rules, but. Um, yeah, I love that sport, my favourite. I'm wearing my. Uh, that's the team I'm barrack for, Colin with Magpies. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But they're the team I go for. So uh, with the coronavirus, um, they've cancelled all the sporting codes in the world, including Aussie rules. And so I felt like I wanted to represent my team um, throughout this uh, coronavirus. Yeah, what am I doing? I came up here. You fucking knocked me off here, but I can't do shit. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, what's the fuck? But I'm gonna fall off there. I don't really understand what the fuck's going on here. So I need to kind of jump across this way? That way? Nope, because she's not moving. What the fuck am I doing? Oh, so if you hit that... Okay. Oh fuck. Okay, see, this is just, yeah, silly. What's why? What do you mean, what's your favorite sport, why? What was the why referring to? And basketball, okay, nice. So who's your favorite player in the NBA? 
Or who do you go for in the NBA? Careful. Here we've got a watcher. Oh, watchers are fine. We can get them. Easy. Look at me. Look at me. Ah, nice. So yeah, with, with basketball, who's your favourite team in the NBA? Or... Well, why do I love Aussie Rules? Um, well, mainly because Aussie Rules is a sport that I grew up with, um, with my family, my community, the area I was in. Everyone just kind of watched Aussie Rules football, so... And I was born, in, I was born into a team who was... Uh, into a family who was very passionate about this particular team, Collingwood. Um, and so, from a, from a very young age, I started playing football. You know, I had a football in my hands when I was three and never really let it go from there, so. 10% corruption coil. Alright, did I just drop a 10% for a 10%? Lakers, nice. Who's your favourite player? I don't watch basketball myself, so I don't know much about basketball, but... I thought people followed players in the NBA. Maybe they don't, maybe you uh What the hell's that? Sparker. Hmm. Oh, I get so confused, I have no no idea where we're going. Alright, cool. We've got a supply crate over the other side of this room. Go rob the place. So shards, vessel, chill water, ridgewood. Nice. Because at least the ridgewood keeps our arrows, our, yeah, arrows stocked. Because we can use ridgewood to build new arrows. Here we go, override. Alrighty. The machines collect plays from the wilds, and it all flows here. My blood to heart, so the cauldron runs in life itself. There we go. So I kind of like the fact that you could hide in here, but apparently not. Boy, fuck. What the fuck am I looking at? Oh, well, there's ravages there. Get out of the water! The water means you just can't fucking be. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, am I stuck in the corner? I'm just trying to escape this fucking. Hey, did they run away? 
Nice. Whoa. There we go. Get out of the water, Alloy. Can't see. You get stuck. The camera just gets stuck in this. Like, Horizon's not built for like close quarters combat because the camera just does not do well. Oh, I got out of that. Come on, good stuff. I got out of there. You know what? This fire thing's not working. And now she's in the water, because Aloy decides to go for a swim. Get up there! Oh, get out of the water! Let's go. Let's duel this guy. Alright. Tell you what, these fights don't get... Okay. That no game, I think, in my opinion, has ever topped for me. Like, Final Fantasy Ten was my favourite game of all time. Then The Witcher life. 3 came out, played that, and that... Didn't overtake it, but... Okay, fine. I'll kind of choose one video game. Uh, we'll go with The Witcher 3 for the time being. Witcher 3 is my uh, number one that I'll take. So if I could choose the series, I'll choose Dark Tower by Stephen King. Favorite beverage? Uh, probably just uh, Pasito, Passiona. The passion fruit soft drink. That's probably my favorite beverage. Otherwise, I'd choose a um, Coca Cola. If I keep working on my spear and the cauldrons, maybe. Down. Let's go. Let's charge into it. What the fuck? I've been sick if I actually destroyed that. Oh! Whoa! 
It would have been bloody sick if I destroyed that. There we go. I am in desperate need. I mean, uh, not desperate need, but I can't just live off potions. Because I'm going to run out of potions. Okay, so I got some medicine. Push that. Where the fuck are we going? We came up here, I think. No. I really have no idea where I'm going. Just fighting monsters and running all over the place. So I get this whole room is like a big circular room. We came from down there. I guess I have to try and make my way to that middle platform, I think. Ooh, what's that? Searching a long leg, nice. Okay, so we can't grab Sparker. I think we're, we're out of Sparkers. Yeah, like, I think we have to get to the platform in the middle. That's what the objective keeps saying to go. How the fuck do we get there? Who knows? Do I have to... Because is that a beam I can, like, travel across? Or is that, like, a light beam that I can't really touch? Oh, this is where I came from. I came in from here. Sorry. Uh, I'll try going up here then. And I don't think this is the way. I do not think that's the way at all. So... And now we're going back downhill again. Maybe we use this. A lot of platforming. I love the platforming elements of this game. I like the fact that you could just jump on these wheels or these spokes just to then be able to navigate across this level. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool idea. Alright, can you jump up here? No. Okay. So I gather I'm going to have to... No, we'll take that. Let's just get these riches. It's annoying me that I have to leave so much loot behind as well. Like chill water and stuff. I know I've maxed everything out, but still... There we go. Where are we going? Okay, and this takes us to the middle. Does it? Where are we going? What? We're we supposed to be here? No, this is where it fucking started again. Am I supposed to drop? Yeah, I thought that was gonna work, but it didn't. Maybe I can, maybe I have to ride it and swing onto that ramp, that, that thing, that middle platform. Yeah, maybe I have to swing onto that middle platform from those carts. 
Okay, let's try it again. And this time I'll jump on the cart and then I'll uh, try and swing onto the middle platform. Okay. No. She was falls. I don't stay on it. Well, I stayed on it the first time and I ended up falling off. Like, it ran into the blue wall. Again. It's over here. Hold on, I'll try and find that wheelie thing again. Yeah, it is. Because I stayed on it the first time and it just. It, it ran me off the uh, into the blue wall, so that I ended up hitting the floor again. Oh, for fuck's sake, Alloy, just jump. Okay. Good day, Gloaters. How you doing? So for instance, okay, so you catch it, stay on it till the end, so then she just falls, I mean, is that where I'm supposed to go, like here, but if I come here, I can't go through anyway, because this stuff's all blue. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, so that's what I'm having trouble with, because the objective indicator says to get go into this middle platform over here. And I guess I'm just trying to ah oh, overdrive. Silly me. Overdrive. I get. I'm guaranteed this will build a bridge. Builds a bridge. Never mind. We all did it. Yeah, I know. You can change the direction of the circle. Thanks for your help, Gladys. Um. Yeah. Silly mate, just a bridge. Alrighty, what are we doing? It's uh not too much already. Alright. What's that do? It's pumping something. It's working hard. Oh, it's opened up one of those blue gates okay so we'll go here now we can probably go through here can't we yeah okay all right so now we can go through here do I have to get on that one Really? Can't destroy that thing? Bloody hell. This whole thing's confusing. <clears throat> Can I jump up here? Um. Wow. Nope. Can't jump up there. <coughs> I 
and you can't really get across this way either. Or that way. Oh wait, there's a ramp over there. Hold on. Okay. We'll try and get the higher ground on these things. Find the cauldron core, okay. So we're just dropping off here. Ah, uh, yep, probably. Okay. That's where I need to go. The belly of this giant beast. Uh, so where's that? It's a huge complex. It's pretty awesome, amazing place. Graphically, this is just terrific. So I guess we're gonna ride up this ramp. Okay, let's get this. Uh, this is my second cauldron. I've, I've, I came into the... Yeah, my second cauldron. So this way. There we go. Okay, so we'll have to jump up here. Alrighty. Now where are we going? Uh... Save these for the trail. Hmm. Yeah, that's why I'm on. That's why I'm, I'm trying to do a couple more because this is a, a specific monsters that I'm trying to kill in some of the missions, and I've been having trouble killing them. And but I can't override them either, so I want to do all these cauldrons so I can at least get to the stage where I can override some of these bigger monsters, just to kind of make the main missions a little bit easier, so I can sneak up on them and actually override them and cause them to fight each other. Because that, that that's pretty cool. I do like that whole element of the game. Prepared. Nope, can't be too prepared. What will I leave behind? Oh, the echo shell we can leave, yeah, that's fine. Now what? We'll just jump down here. Yeah, why not? Alrighty. Shells, yep, that's one. Oh, I forgot to kill these watches. Alright. Yeah. I figured it was one of those weapons that I'm not using now at the moment, but it's one of those ones that I reckon will be helpful down the track when I've got more of those resources. So this motherfucker I have to kill first. I cannot go for the other guy. Because before I tried to go for the other guy first because he kept killing me and this guy just fucking ripped me apart with the ice. So... Alright. Okay. 
Yeah, the platform. Well, yeah, I, I only jumped off um, before because I was trying to get a head start to get that Ravager that comes out of this room here. But, as you can see, the plane did not work at all, so... We'll try it again this time. I'm going to go straight at the door. Before I did it here, he ran straight past all the traps. So this time, I'm just going to lock him in that door. And then we'll do a freeze maybe here. Then a freeze maybe there. Are they spaced out okay? I don't know. Are they too close? I don't want him to blow one up and then blows them all up, you know? And this way, if he zigzags, he's going to get hit anyway. Right, and then hopefully that buys me enough time to get this guy first. And we'll do a blast wire here. Just in case. Actually, we'll do a blast wire over there as well. I wasn't aiming for there, I was aiming for here. Ah, uh, whatever. Ah, uh, we'll fill it up. Alright, let's see how this goes. Alright, so we'll go back to the first strategy, and that was just kill this, um, snap mall before I think about the other guy. Get out of the way, you fucking rabbit jar. Alright, that's him down. Cool. Now it's just me and you, buddy. Me and you. Come here. Come here. Booyah! Oh, wait. That was the fire. I was trying to do, like, the stun. Here we go. Oh shit! Oh. There we go. Whew. What am I leaving behind? A resist freeze weave. Nice. Yes, finally got there. Success, finally. Because at least if I don't Should bank. Have a cart. Yeah, okay, cool. Like, I'll, I'd rather. I, I need to go back and go to a merchant and sell all that shit. Can't get that. Alright, so what's that? 40% freeze coil. Cool. Now, I think. Were there any other parts that fell off them? No. Yeah, no. Oh, this one. Mm. Useless. But this is not you useless. Neither is that. Okay. Where are we going? Override the core. Right, is that in the middle there? You can't. You need like an ability, don't you, to pick up all your traps again, don't you? So I can't pick them all back up, the ones I haven't used. That's, it. More That's all right. We've done this cauldron, and that means that we can now go and override some more monsters, hope hopefully. Can't move, okay. Booyah! So what's that? Row overrides available. Yeah, I'm thinking, because I want to get that, where is it? Oh, so Disarm Traps is right there, I could have had that. I forgot I had four skill points, there you go. 
And then I can get Tinker. Yeah, so if I do disarm traps, I can then get Tinker and take out the weapon coils that I've got from the um, other weapon. Cool. Alright, we'll do that then. Uh, have I got everything else I need? Yeah, I've got concentration, got fast reload. Triple shot, double shot. That's useless. Yeah, that's... Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, that's all useless for now. Okay. Booyah. So I probably could have gotten those traps I left behind. That's okay, no worries. We'll rebuild everything. We'll craft, craft. Um, traps. Let's go make some more shockers. Um... Yeah, I need, I need I need to kill some animals just to so I need to get another fox bone and then I don't have to worry about the mods so I can then collect a few more mods. One more fox bone. Alrighty. Where are we going? The fuck's the door out of here? There. Woohoo! Skill points. Okay. Uh 